at um, university I did a maths degree um, and I was looking for something from a technical standpoint that would help me use my maths skills in a working environment and I felt that um, the actuarial profession gave a good balance between technical ability and also the business um, work that I wanted to get. Um, specifically for the CIRA qualification, it was because it took it up to the next level and you'd be talking to the members of the board um, who are interested in risk management, um, which is becoming a lot more um, the focus of a lot of businesses now, particularly during the financial crisis. I, ju I thought it looked quite interesting. It looked quite different from a lot of the other uh a lot of the other modules. Um, it looked like it would it would give me a, a sort of a different breadth of experience to uh, to work with, and it was a route to a, a new qualification. And I, I sort of I had a look at it, and there's a, a number of sort of actuarial organisations around the world that have sort of supported and recognised this qualification. And I thought, well, the material looks interesting, and. It looks like a good qualification potentially in the future. It looks like it's going to be very portable and it looks like it sort of opens the doors to a, a slightly wider risk management role outside of the usual sort of traditional actuarial life and pensions role. I see myself more in business strategy um, as the liaison between company executives and shareholders and the more technical people in the company such as financial directors. Certainly for the CIRA qualification, I'd, I'd encourage anyone to do it if they were at all interested in it. Um, it's slightly different from the other actuarial qualifications in that it involves more business knowledge, more business experience, um, and I think that makes you stand out um, from the crowd, from the other actuary. Um, if you look at the, the, the changes that the European Union is trying to put in at the moment, there's a lot more focus on risk and risk management and things. So. I think even in the traditional actuarial areas we're having to think about a wide range of risks a lot more and yeah I think there's a lot of other areas where good risk management qualifications can be, can be really valuable. Once I started working I got a lot of um, support from the actuarial profession in the UK through the actuarial society of South Africa at the time they were uh, in very close contact with the uh, profession here and I got a lot of support, a tremendous amount of support. In some ways it was a bit of a gamble at the time because it was the first sitting so there was a lot of unknowns about what, what to expect from the exam and things like that and um, so yeah, I, certainly I in the run up to the exam there was a part of me that was thinking I wish I'd gone for the safe option and sat something uh, a bit more established. <laughs>